Hello and welcome back to Newsworld on Newsroom Africa, Channel 405. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Zimbabwe's economic crisis is deepening uh, with inflation coming in at over 300%. This is the second highest inflation figure in the world after Venezuela. Now the country declared October the 25th, which was yesterday, a public holiday to protest U.S. sanctions. In recent weeks, the price of petrol skyrocketed by more than 25%, and the doctors in the country also took to the streets to protest over their salaries. They've declined a 60% increase from government. And to talk us through all of this is political analyst Mr. Mutumwa Mawera. Uh, thank you for joining us on Newsroom this evening, Mr. Mutumwa. No, thank you. Before we talk about the uh, sanctions, perhaps the yeah. targeted sanctions and uh, whose responsibility all of this is and the effects yeah. on the Zimbabweans, uh, let's maybe talk about yesterday's uh, sanctions march, uh, sanctions protest, uh, yeah. the public holiday that was declared. Uh, I mean, you may not have, you weren't there, but uh, maybe you've been following those events. And give us a sense of or walk us through yesterday. I think the numbers uh, were telling. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not well uh, supported by the people of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody knows what the real reasons are. And it was supposed to be a SADC joint initiative. Yeah. So you could see that there was a lot, uh, a lot to be said about the attendance. I mean, perhaps maybe Zimbabweans are just disinterested? Uh, and maybe they're aware, I mean, I mean, there have also been allegations against President, uh, the President Emerson, obviously, because he's, he's one of the victims of the targeted sanctions. Uh, maybe that he's also di just distracting away from the real issues at hand and passing blame right. uh, for Zimbabwe's economic woes. Yeah, I think there is an issue. I think these sanctions are 18 years old. Mm. This was after the land reforms. Yeah, uh, so it's 2001 to yes. 2019. Mm. Okay. And and they were amended in 2018, if you're looking at the American mm -hmm. uh, sanctions. Because the sanctions are e ES, uh, U.S. sanctions rather than and European Union sanctions. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe before we, we uh, talk about uh, the relationship between the U.S. and the European Union and Zimbabwe, because that's yeah. also quite telling when you see uh, trade figures. Uh, but let's talk about the sanctions, why the sanctions were in place, and what impact are these sanctions having? You see, the, uh, imagine you have a relationship between David and Goliath. Mm. Uh, if you are a small country and you are misbehaving and the big country that you need support from mm -hmm. tells you what you need to do to secure your own future, mm -hmm. then you have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And for 18 years, Zimbabwe could simply have made the choice mm -hmm. to uh, respect the constitution of Zimbabwe or that the U.S. government is saying, Respect your own laws. Mm. Don't work outside the rule of law. Mm -hmm. So constitutionalism is a fundamental tenet of any progressive society. Mm. So they are saying to Zimbabwe, you don't have neighbors. You don't have SADC. Because if you had a SADC, mm. they would tell Zimbabwe for 18 years what needs to happen mm. to secure a better future. Mm -hmm. Regrettably, this has not taken <coughs> mm. President Mnangagwa has been very persuasive. He persuaded President Mugabe to vacate office. Yes. Uh, without him knowing. He was grumbling, but he, he did the job, removed uh, President Mugabe. Secondly, now he has convinced the Sadiq countries that Zimbabwe doesn't have to do anything. He's a victim. Mm. And when you take that posture that you are a victim, there are consequences. Uh, and, and stats uh, speak differently. I mean, you look at it, uh, you know, he's obviously blaming the, the, U the U.S. and EU on these sanctions, saying how it's affecting yeah. the economy and how uh, it's, and those are the only reasons why Zimbabwe is doing poorly. But if you look at it, trade between the U.S. and uh, Zimbabwe, or yeah. EU and Zimbabwe, yeah. has significantly increased over the years despite these sanctions because the uh, U.S. and the EU are saying these are not sanctions against Zimbabwe as a whole. These are targeted sanctions. No, no, even if they were not uh, targeted, a friend is the one who sanctions you. Mm. A parent is the one who sanctions Disciplines you. Disciplines you. But if you are above disciplining mm. and you're not accountable to anyone, if you look at the parliament of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. it's not a body that can make the executive accountable. Mm -hmm. If you look at the judiciary, they also are vulnerable as members of the bench. Mm -hmm. So effectively, the state institutions have been castrated. Mm. So who else can voice up in Zimbabwe? Mm. So if somebody were to say, clearly Sadek, by taking this posture, Sadek is saying they have no interest in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. 
Because if your friends and neighbors have, friends, have interest in you, they will tell you the things that are good for you. Mm -hmm. You don't need Americans to tell you that or to demonstrate against them. So, Mr. Matumbo, would you agree that uh, we can't blame the sanctions for Zimbabwe's economic woes? No. If you are sick, yeah. you can't blame the doctor for a prescription. Mm -hmm. But if you are not sick, mm -hmm. obviously, you can say, why are you giving me medicine? Okay. If America did not like Zimbabwe, why would you put sanctions? You just ignore them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's and, perhaps talk about uh, if the sanctions did have an impact. What do you think those, that, that impact of no, the sanctions? If you, if you are credit worthy, yeah. then you go to a bank. Yeah. But if you're not credit worthy, it doesn't matter whether there's a good manager or a bad manager at the bank. Simply, you won't ac get access to credit. So, what, so in your opinion, what would need to be done instead of protesting against Zimbabwe has arrears. Yes. These are past debts that Zimbabwe cannot cure. Yeah. Zimbabwe wants new money. And the lenders are saying, once beaten, twice shy. Mm. I can't give you new money mm. unless you do something that is within your control. And what would you think would, need, would be in their control? Control, imagine you, you are an exporter. Yeah. You export eggs to South Africa. Mm. You export real eggs. Mm -hmm. You get the equivalent in runs. Mm -hmm. You take them to Zimbabwe. You are given another currency you don't understand. Mm. When you have export. That policy effectively diverts what you have generated mm. and gives it to somebody else. Mm. So that, again, is wrong. Mm. People like, uh, are talking about corruption. Mm. And how far it is, is the government serious? What if one of the corrupt guys is the one who is surrounding the president? And, and, and the land reform policy as well, that basically halted farming exports and agriculture. in the country. Land reform, when you take land, mm -hmm. it's given for free mm -hmm. by the creator. Mm -hmm. Then when you put government in it and you take it away and you give it on the basis of uh, this injustice, the consequences, it's not between black or white, it's mm. between uh, commercial agriculture yes. and subsistence agriculture. Mm -hmm. The impact, it may not be felt, mm. but the consequences are clear. Mm. Uh, it means your food shortage. Mm. All we, right, uh, Dr. Machumu, um, do you think that the average Zimbabwean is aware of uh, or, or, or knows what, the san what a sanction is and what these sanctions the are? The average is really, they the, care. Uh, you know, Independence promised prosperity, mm. but the reality it is it created more poor people, ignorant people. Mm. So the majority of the people are in the rural areas. They don't know. They think government is a messiah. Mm -hmm. They think anything that government, government has been victimized <coughs> by this big American uh, uh, imperialist. So they, are, they are under the impression that uh, they've all been uh, sanctioned. And it's not no, just... they're under the impression that uh, absent sanctions, Zimbabwe will be yeah. what it yeah. should be. Yes. They are not told the truth, <coughs> and the people in government pretend to be victims. Mm -hmm. But they fly first class, mm -hmm. they fly private, mm -hmm. and on the ground there's no connection between mm -hmm. the people who are aspirational and the people in government. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, if you look at uh, the world today, mm -hmm. the number one country is the one you are fighting against. Yes. But for you to be number one, <coughs> There must be something that you are doing. Mm -hmm. And also, just to explain to our viewers, uh, the sanctions in Zimbabwe, what they're calling targeted sanctions, uh, it's only a, f a few targeted individuals, like the president himself, uh, the security minister, and a few companies. What they're saying is by targeting us, mm -hmm. you are denying us access to credit. Mm -hmm. We are the public office bearers who ought to be given unfettered access to credit markets. Yes. So they are saying where there is money available for development, mm. Zimbabwe is not getting access to that money. Mm. And they are saying remove the sanctions. And the people who impose sanctions, they said we impose them for just cause. Comply with what is good for your own circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, we're joined in studio this evening by Dr. Matumwa uh, Mawera. He's a political analyst uh, sharing ins uh, some insights on, on uh, the situation and particularly Zimbabwe's uh, economic woes as well as uh, targeted sanctions. I'm very interested to hear from you, uh, uh, Mr. Matumwa. 
Do you think that uh, Zimbabwe's uh, economic woes, uh, does it have an impact or what sort of impact uh, is it having on the SADC region? I mean, we it's, mentioned SADC a lot. It's devastating because people have to cross borders mm. to seek a better life. Mm. There are very few people who are looking up and say, I want to be in Zimbabwe in the long term. <coughs> when thing, the quality of life is deteriorating every day, mm. then human beings by nature are mobile they will always go to where they think a better life exists. So some of the countries in the region <coughs> naturally have to bear that burden. Mm -hmm. But imagine their neighbors were like America that imposed sanctions on their friends. Mm -hmm. Because you can only impose sanctions on someone you love. You can't impose sanctions <coughs> on someone you don't care about. Mm -hmm. So imagine the the, the countries that are affected by migration, a mm. uh, way to take that stand, that there are things that require to be done in Zimbabwe, and those things ought to be done in the interest of Zimbabwe. Mm. Those who have imposed sanctions, you, those are your real friends. Those who have not imposed sanctions, they couldn't care less. So what should the choices be in Zimbabwe and in the region? Certain countries would then be the first ones mm -hmm. to say, hey, uh, my friend, uh, there, are, there are things that are related to success. Freedom, just to, just to express yourself, mm -hmm. to demonstrate. The people were allowed to demonstrate against sanctions, but they, were not, they are not given permission to demonstrate against government policies. Mm -hmm. When they are given a holiday, they don't participate. When you apply to demonstrate, to say, not in my name, don't be in government in my name and be mischievous. Mm. But there have been people in government, imagine, uh, uh, this is 39 years, non-stop. Mm. Can you imagine? All right. Would in you, the same street. Would you then say that uh, Zimbabwe is in a worse off place under uh, Emerson's regime compared to Mugabe? The difference may not be, uh, 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 the difference may be the same mm. or even worse. But the idea that Mugabe had, it, <coughs> it may not have changed with the change of the musical chairs. Because right now it's still this statist, uh, socialist idea that government has all the solutions. Mm -hmm that government can prescribe what the exchange rate is. Mm -hmm. Government can prescribe what the prices of goods and services should be. Mm -hmm. Government can monitor your own private assets. Government is the alpha and omega of what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. That idea stifles, crowds out creativity. Human beings require freedom. Mm -hmm. Before government was created, human beings were still there. Animals don't, don't need government, mm -hmm. but they are alive. But imagine in this case, you wait for the president. The president is the one who defines. The president in his briefcase are all the answers. Mm -hmm. uh, one man. So that system that separates people in government creates them to be some kind of little gods. If it's not ended, the deterioration will continue. Well, there you have it, uh, Mr. Matumwa Mawera joining us in the studio this evening, political analyst uh, discussing Zimbabwe's uh, targeted sanctions, uh, some of its economic woes. Uh, if you recall that yesterday was uh, declared a public holiday in Zimbabwe as uh, Zimbabweans were uh, asked to join in on a strike to protest targeted sanctions uh, on the country, particularly individuals and businesses. Uh, News, Bro News World is going to take a, a short break. Thank you for joining us here on Newsroom Africa, Channel 405.